Yes, sir. Ski, you tuned in to another edition of Infinite Vibes, provided by Taste, powered by Dash Radio. I'm Moran, the man, my lovely, bossed up, rich ass co host, DJ B Lex, is in the building as well. Yes, sir. Yes, we here. Absolutely. We're in the presence of somebody who is just on the come up doing his thing. He's from the great state of Florida. Florida is making a lot of noise right hey, out now. Out here, out here. Between the music and the sports, please introduce yourself to our listeners, big dog. It's your boy, Young Dread, aka El Plaga. Okay. Hey. And he's rolling up and about to smoke. Some good gas. Yeah, it's good gas. Ain't this good legal gas. out there in Florida? Or? It's legal. Ooh. I feel like it's been legal. I've been smoking. Hey. But yeah. Talk about, talk about, talk about. Hey, but it's officially legal, so you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that. Yeah, yeah. that part. It's all good. You know, cool interview. You can smoke here. We got the cloud behind you, so you might as well get faded. We in the vibe. Got the wet behind. The cloud, you know, the infinite vibes. Oh, yeah, cloud. that's so, you what know, it's you, you, yeah, you might as well get high. Yeah, I can dig it. Absolutely, man. So, you know, just talk to us about your origin, because Florida... Is just a state that is just filled with just culture from sports. They say the best football players in the country come from Florida. Right. We know that y'all are synonymous with the booty shake music. Mm. <laughs> and uh, y'all are definitely synonymous with just the swag with the colorful cars. So yep. talk to us about your Florida origin, man. What was it like for you growing um, up down there? For us, you know, it's like second nature. But now that you say it like that, mm. I could see it being mm-hmm. very interesting. Very. Because even like yesterday, like I'm doing the interview and they look at how I'm spreading the money. They're like, damn, how you spreading the money like that? I'm like, what you mean? How? That's Oh, shit, that do look cool to y'all, yeah. but that's just what I'm doing. But how do you do it, though? Because it's I can't even. I can't, <laughs> now, I can't even think about how I do it because I just do it. You just do yeah. it. It's a culture. It's a culture. Yeah. It's just from everything in Florida. It's just like, I guess we was just born, like, to do certain things. Like, mm. it's just been in us. So it's mm. like, it's just second nature for real. Like, the dunce, like, we've been... Mounting up, throwing yeah. them things on the 30s on some old school shit. That part. It That's don't even what I matter know. if it's a Chevy yeah. or a Malibu. It could be a Dan Central. Mm. It could be anything. They're going to throw that shit up Throw there. them dunks on there. Mm-hmm. I that, thought that shit was hard. Like, growing up floor. seeing it. Yeah, yeah it's That's different. fire. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's like in Florida, it's like, y'all got Miami Beach and y'all got Disney World. Right. Yeah. So, you know, what was it like outside of just, like, you know, the culture? Talk to us about, you know, your lifestyle growing up. Because I feel like Florida is a place, you know, people may have fucked up. They think it's sweet. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, yeah. Florida ain't shit sweet out in Florida, bro. Mm-hmm. The only thing that they promote, they're going to promote sweet shit so people can move there. Mm-hmm. But now you can see, like, what's, like, the real streets of what's going on. Like, Orlando, you see in Tampa, mm-hmm. like right now is the streets era. Yeah. Before it was like the gim- not saying gimmick music, but it was more pop, like for for the masses. Right now it's like for the streets. So you really seeing the in depth what's going on in each city. You seeing the wicks, you seeing the goals. That's how we've been living. It's nothing different. It was two sides. Either you're gonna get the commercial side mm-hmm. or you're gonna get the trenches. And when you get the street side of Florida, that's all you get. It's been. Trick Daddy been showing them what time it is. Ain't nothing right. different. That part. You know what I'm saying? It's just a new generation of this shit. Mm. So it's it's always been our culture. This ain't nothing new. This is how we just been raised. Like, they ain't understand Florida. Now it's a masses. Like, Kodak, that, that's a Florida jit. That's right. a Florida jit. Like, that's how we move. Like, that's why they say oh, it's so much Kodak hot boy. Like, nah, that's just how we is. That's, that's just what it is. Are. You might hear some shit. you like, damn, that nigga sound like this. But that's just how we living. It ain't really scripted, and it, it ain't nothing new to us. Mm. It's just new to, to the world. So how did you get into, like, being a rapper? Because it's like, you see all this dope shit growing up. You're doing the culture. You're a part of it. Right. And then you just you just want to get into music. Like, how did that start for you? Um, You know, looking up to, like, people like Cash Money and shit like yeah. that. Mm. That really inspired me. Not, not really, like, the... Well, even, like, Jay-Z and the, you know... Um, Biggie and mm. and Tupac, that that's the real inspiration. But from the South, like when you seen Cash Money as a young nigga, you like, mm. damn, we all wanted to be the hot boy. Right. Yeah, we that all wanted to be the hot boy. That shit was and we hard. was running around the streets just like them. Just when they had a drop their movie, we out there. You feel me? Mm. So I felt that like with the South, it like resonated with the South, like real for real. So even like Trick, like Trick, all that shit. Like once you see somebody from down bottom, like down the street, could do it. That's what really opened it. And then Ross came to show mm-hmm. us. And Plies, when Plies came, it was like, okay, this is right now what's going on. And then moved to the next level. Right. Mm-hmm. Dope, dope. That's facts. So, you know, coming up out of Florida, you know, we hear a lot of things. One thing that went viral, like on the internet a few years ago, was the phrase Florida man. So, <laughs> somebody who's a Florida man, mm-hmm. yeah. how do you how do you feel when, you know, you see these things on the internet regarding, like, they literally say you can just type in a date 
Yeah, and Florida yeah. man and yeah. Florida man, blah, 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 blah. All right, so look, I'm overseas somewhere. They talking about, yeah, Florida man, y'all crazy. I'm like, what you mean we crazy? Like, <laughs> y'all know we crazy, but what you mean like we crazy? Right. She was like, you don't know. Like, <laughs> they always say, like, you could even Google it. She Googled it. She showed me the shit. I'm like, damn, they do. Oh, I always do hear Florida man. Florida man this, Florida man that. But to me, it's normal. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> damn. But now to the outside to see it, damn, that shit do be crazy. We some crazy niggas out there, boy. Yeah. That shit crazy. What Florida, is it, though? I'm confused. I can't. I don't even Basically, know. like, if you I go. I feel like this what, is this what it is. This is what it really is. It's it's an island. It's really it's really not even part of the United States. It's mm. part of the islands. Cause every every islander, you gotta think from Dominican Republic to Haiti to Mexico to Ecuador, South America, right. the next land, Cuba, ninety miles away from Miami. So I mean Key West. So the closest thing to the uh, Caribbean is Florida. You That's know what I'm saying? Shit, so yeah. you got people from all these countries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They downline, they bl- all that shit mixing this one melting pot. Then it bleed into other places, but not like Florida. Mm. Nah. Cuz even Georgia's like it's not it's not like so much different like nationalities and ethnicities in one place like Florida. Right. You catch by 100 different races. You like, "What? I didn't even know that was a a what? What are you a Cape Verde? I didn't even know that was a thing." Like, mm-hmm. you feel me type right. shit. That's yeah. Florida. So you're going to get some crazy Little shit pot. when you got some... New York, too, though. New York crazy like that. But because they got a lot. It's a melting pot. Yeah. I seen this TikTok. We was saying, of course, flight. But it was like two, an hour and a half away from Miami. I'm like, what? And it's hot. When it's hot, shit real. Oh. <laughs> when it's hot, shit oh, real. That means we outside and you mad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when it's cold, you inside and you mad. When it's hot, you outside. Cause you, you outside. Ain't no... Calling off no days of school because it's too hot. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to play football. That's what you're talking about. Us athletes, mm. they running in the heat. Yeah. It's shit easy. It's a breeze. Right. I'm in the heat. Probably about to pass out of this nigga. I know people that die out there trying to just have practice. You ain't even make it to high school football yet, but you died in damn little league practice. That's real. That's how hard you Oh, going. that's how hot it is. Yeah. yeah. That's and that's how hard they going to get up out of there. Mm. Nah, that's real deal. So when you think about that, that shit crazy. Right. Yeah. That's real. Dope, 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 man. So how does it feel for you to be a part of this new generation of Florida artists? Because, you know, when it comes to Tampa, the only artists, and I, I don't know, I might be aging myself, I don't know, the only artists I ever heard of coming out of Tampa, I know that y'all had that boy, Tampa Tony. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I remember Tampa Tony. He used to be on them Down South DVDs, like yep. with Jay Prince and all that. Tampa you know? Tony, shout out to the legend of OG, Tampa Tony. Yeah, so, you know, how does it feel for you to just be, like, a new face for Tampa, period? Mm-hmm. Oh, it feels great, man. feels like... It's a blessing because it's like where the city's at right now. It's like it's it's no better time to be like pushing this pushing this Tampa way. And we've been grinding in the city, building foundation and showing people on an independent level how to build without having to do radio routes or right. or you know do typical the industry way of just being yourself because that's what the industry became. So now when you see the industry, you're like, damn, the industry became more like reality instead mm. of all this other stuff right so the artists that been pushing that to be at this level right now in my city winning at this time and mm-hmm. i'm able to do it just right. chilling how i'm doing it without script it really i feel amazing yeah. it's a good feeling because you're not on radio no, but your numbers on youtube right. they going up yeah i got on uh, my latest single on radio on uh, everything's up it just it hit what like 80 80 yeah. He charted. Oh, he charted. Right. Clap right. He charted. That's yes, sir. Right. That's a great record, by the way. That was that independent. Part. So, so okay. he getting that check. Right. He getting the royalties. Yes. Check. <laughs> he getting the royalties. How did the right. record come about? Because you um, feature, you know, a hot, hot Florida boy. artist. Yeah. Hot boy. You know, Florida Connection. He from West Orlando. I'm from West Tampa. Drew filmed it, put the play together. Felt like it would make sense, and it made sense. You know what I mean? He from like an hour away. Mm. So... That's that area, like it's so new. Like that's why the success is blowing up. Rod Wave from thirty minutes down the way, mm. 
hot from an hour away. You know what I'm saying? That's Central Florida, Tampa Bay area. Yeah. It's really like having its time right now. Yeah, it really eat, is. It's like a real resurgence. Yeah, Pootie. All that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we had, yeah, we had Pootie on the show. Yeah, we had on the show, too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Pootie on the show. Central Florida is like, shout out, salute Central Florida. We done grind it for this. Yeah, that's <laughs> for real. real. Because you hear a lot about South Florida, yeah. Broward, Miami, but now it's Central Florida. Mm-hmm. Tampa, St. Pete, Orlando, all that look, like that area right there. Putting on. Putting on, going crazy. That part. Beautiful, beautiful. What's it like for you when you go back home, though? Because, you know, we always hear the stories about how artists, they got to move a certain type of way when they're chilling in their city. What's oh, it like for you? For sure. You got to. That's mandatory. I feel like that's in every city. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be moving around crazy in any city you go to. So, mm-hmm. you don't want, like, when you get hot in your city, you definitely got to, like, calm it down. Mm. That part. What spot should we visit? When we go to Temple, of course, Infinite Vibe probably going to hit Temple. Because yeah. like you said, we might have to catch a Buccaneers game or something. Oh, okay. yeah, what yeah. spot should we go to food-wise? Like, what's the oh, spot you right should there? come to Slap Your Mama Food Truck. Right. That's right in the it's middle of It's a food of the... truck? Slap. Yeah. That's all good. That's all good. That's just all good. Slap your right. food truck. Okay. Daddy-O's patio. Mm. And she can't lose right there. Can't lose. That's, that's what actually... What type of food they got? Um, it's like southern, you know, chicken wings. Mm. Okay. You gonna have your fried shrimp. I love my bang, fried bang shrimp. Banana pudding. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? The restaurant has the uh, fried turkey leg. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fried turkey leg. We bust some lamb leg. chops. Oh, Florida coming right. up. Right, they Love. coming up, coming yeah. up. Shout out Daddy O's Patio. That's our new restaurant we just opened up. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah. You yeah. 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 There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got another for Rick Ross. Yeah. 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 You could have just said it was your restaurant, bro. I just saying, you own this shit. I'm just saying, Rick Ross going to tell everybody he owns Wings. I'm just saying. It was a commercial, but I wanted to show y'all it before. Let me see what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to show you. You got a serial entrepreneur going on. No, no, no. Probably best if you show us a commercial after it is. Right. Yeah, probably better if you buy it. But, you know, because I was going to ask you you know what is something that you wanted to do for your city but you know you already got your restaurant right. booming so you know what is what's something else you want to do for town um i want to do some fundraisers and you know giving back to the youth want to let them know like it's really possible that part. as long as you stay focused don't get distracted yeah. with all these distractions out here you know what i'm saying because you could easily get twirled out here they don't tell you that part mm. twirled if you don't know from florida that florida means you can get you can get tricked out these streets Get tricked out your spot, so don't get twirled out here. You know, find find you. You know, you gotta you gotta network for mm-hmm. sure. Networking is key. A lot of people have talent, but they don't like to network because they feel like they got it all. Mm. Mm. That part. So, that's, that's I want to get back and tell them some real shit. Mm. Dope. You gonna do it? You on your way, big right, dog. You on your way. You, you got, got the music support. going crazy. You got a song on the radio that's right. moving independently. You got your own restaurant. But well, we just did it. Uh, a deal with Warner. Shout out Warner. Oh, oh there, you go. Deal. there we go. There we go. There we go. So, so your label. To, yeah, YTC. YTC. And my brother. Okay. Yeah, we got a partnership with Warner. Partnership. Asylum. We doing big things. Album dropping nine nine two one. A star was born. Beautiful. Let's get it, yeah, y'all. Absolutely. Go check absolutely. that out. So you know, in closing, we always like to just end these with just positive words of mm-hmm. affirmation. So you know, what are some advice that you could provide to anybody that's on their way up, bro? Um, stay true to you. You know. Stay blessed, believe the energy, and network. Stay positive, love, and peace. Hey, that part, that part, that part, that part. Absolutely, man. You got our support. You definitely have our support. Thank you for pulling up. You know, we definitely rock it with you. Please give our listeners your social media. Let them know how they can get in contact with you and introduce this record that you got going crazy. Yes, sir. You can follow me, you know, on Instagram, Y-U-N-G-D-R-E-D-Y-T-C. Mm-hmm. Facebook, Young Dread, Apple Music, Young Dread, hey. Spotify, Young Dread, album on the way, that 9921, part. A Star is Born, baby, let's get it. Hey. That part. Infinite Vibes, Taste, Dash Radio, Young Dread is in the building, shout out to Tampa. Yes, sir. Beautiful. That was hard, man. <laughs> so we can get a couple drops off yeah. here. Yeah.